There's been thousands. And hundreds of thousands and millions of warriors that have been in very stressful situations, faced evil and faced death, much worse than the situation I'm in or you're in that we might consider stressful. And I even did this when I was overseas, when I was on deployment, when I was a combat leader. I was feeling stress. And you know what? We took casualties and it was awful and it was heartbreaking and... But there were other soldiers and warriors throughout time that had been in much worse situations. Gettysburg or Vicksburg or the Battle of the Bulge. And, and all those horrible situations, they prove really that humans can withstand almost, almost unimaginable stress. Which meant to me that I could too. And you can. And, and the first step for me is doing that, taking that look to gain some perspective. And then in order to gain perspective, you gotta do something that we already talked about. You've gotta detach. You've gotta detach from the problems or the stress that you're experiencing so that you can get that perspective of them. Now, there's a couple different types of stress. Now, if it's something that you can control that's causing you stress, well, why aren't you getting control of it? Now, there's also stress that's caused by things that you cannot control. And if you remember talking earlier about artillery and how horrible that was and what made it so horrible was that there's no control over it. So if you can't control something and you can't get control of it, you have to at least embrace what you can. And I'm not saying you're gonna embrace artillery shelling, but I'll tell you what, when it comes to things like artillery or for us in Ramadi it was IEDs, and we could do everything we could do to mitigate that risk, but eventually, there's only so much you can do and you cannot completely eliminate it. But you can't control it, so why are you gonna worry about it? Why are you gonna stress about it? If there's something that's completely beyond your control, you cannot, you gotta detach from it and not let yourself get stressed about it. And on top of that, if it's something that you can't control, how can you look at it in a different light? How can you see it in a way that you could actually take advantage of it? How can you take that stress and make it into some kind of ally? You know, the, the chaos of combat is something that I couldn't control, but I had to embrace it so I could try and figure out how to take advantage of it. So when it comes to stress, don't fight it. Turn it on itself and use it. Use it. Use it to make yourself sharper and more alert. And use it to make yourself think more and learn more and get better. And use that stress as a catalyst to make yourself better. You've lived a life dominated by doubt and fear. How do you step into bravery? Step. That, that's how you step into bravery. Step. Take the step. Step aggressively towards your fear. And that, that step towards your fear is the step into bravery.